Today we're going to be getting into another reaction video for you guys. This is going to be all of my previous PRs on bench, squat, and deadlift. I believe I threw in two deadlifts, a conventional and a sumo, but if you guys don't know who I am, I've been powerlifting and bodybuilding since I was about 16 years old, and I'm going to try to guess when exactly I did these lifts. Most of them, if not all of them, were actually before I was 21 years old or around 21. I'm now 26 years old. so. It'll be some nostalgia for those of you guys who have been following me for a while. Those of you who haven't, if you're interested and you enjoy powerlifting and some heavy ass PRs, then you're going to enjoy this video as well. So we are going to jump into that in a minute. But before I begin, I have a couple things I wanted to say. Number one, if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, go down below to the link in the description, fill out my coaching questionnaire so that we can set up a phone call go over your goals, okay? As a quick little update for myself where I'm currently at, I'm about 215 pounds, feeling big, feeling a little bit puffier, right? But that's normal when you're on test and I've been on test now for maybe two and a half months, 500 milligrams, so, you know, definitely growing and feeling really fucking good. Um, and my plan right now is to do a show late next year. So in 2025, like December range, I'm gonna do a show and hopefully qualify for the 2026 Olympia. If I don't win that show, then I'll try to do a couple more shows in 2026 to qualify for the Olympia. So that is the current journey that I'm on. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of my you know, lifting videos, dieting, how I'm getting myself in position to try and you know, get to an Olympia, then follow along the YouTube, subscribe, like these videos, drop a comment, what you guys wanna see from me while I'm doing this journey to try and get to the Olympia. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump into this montage that I created of, yeah, all my best lifts uh, from over the years, and we're gonna watch it. We're gonna see what I think about it, and yeah, see if I can remember kinda, you know, what time period that was and all that good stuff. So enjoy, and let's jump into it. All right, so I got my screen right here. All right, so this video right here is me squatting in Dave's uh, old house. So he basically purchased a house years and years ago in our hometown area. If you don't know what Dave, I'm talking about David Laid. And this was his dungeon gym. The whole basement was unfinished. There was a huge gym down there. We used to lift all the fucking time. If you guys haven't, you know, watched my channel for a while, you wouldn't know that, but that's the backstory. Um, this is my biggest PR of all time, a one rep max on squat, the heaviest I've ever gone. So as you can see right here, we got the knee sleeves on. I think I have my Addy Power squat shoes on, which I don't really wear anymore. I wear bare feet now, but basically at the time, I was really all about like maximizing my numbers, more of like a power building style of training. Now I'm more bodybuilding focused strictly. I'll still lift heavy ass weight, but I don't, you know, I'm just not trying to fucking hit PRs on squat, like one rep maxes and stuff like that. I don't deadlift anymore. I predominantly actually leg press and do other heavy leg movements over squats. My bench is still probably as strong as it's ever been. But anyways, this is four, what do we got here? One, two, three, this is four wheels right here. Let's see how I'm throwing this thing around. The weight's, weight's getting heavier. That's pretty aggressively light, if you ask me. I don't even know how I used to sling this weight around so fucking much. This is five plates, easy as shit. But basically at this time, I believe I was 100% natural. I was not on any type of SARM, anything like that. I maybe had used some SARMs prior to this, like for sure I had, but at, at the time I was not on any SARMs or any gear or anything when I actually hit this. None of that was in my system. So right here, boom, fucking 585. And I weighed about 190 pounds. And at this, during this lift, I was 19 or 20, 19 or 20 years old. Um, and then, yeah, okay, that's the end of that little PR video. Now here, this was actually at the Gymshark Houston meetup four years ago. So I was 22 for this video. Yeah, I was 22 years old, I believe. Yeah, 22 in this video, I think. Maybe 21, 21 or 22. Um, and we went to Houston uh, for the Gymshark meetup and essentially we went to Alpha Land like after hours. And right here, I'm working up to my heaviest single ever um, that was two plates. Uh, I was kind of benching here with James English. He was also going for a PR, which he did hit. Um, so this right here is me on three plates. So this is three plates warming up to the max. Let's see how this is looking. That is, that's light. 
That's a lie. I could still throw three plates around on bench that easily. Like I, like I was telling you guys before, my bench is as strong as it's ever been. My other lifts are not. Um, but even though I don't train for strength in the bench, I'm just bigger now. But anyways, this is 365 right here. All right. Look at the kid in the back. The, kids in, the kid in the red in the back was like, this is too fucking light. This is something's going on here. I was checking out my elbows because I wrapped them up. And it just, when you wrap your elbows and bench heavy weight, it fucking hurts really bad. This is James English, 390 pounds. And he weighed like 165, I think, or something like that. And he didn't have any elbow wraps or anything. So that's impressive as shit. Uh, but yeah, this was such a fun session. Lex Little was there. Um, this was just a fun ass session. We we're all freaking out, just having a good time in Alpha Land um, and just trying to hit bench PRs. Um, a bunch of people from the Gymshark meetup came to the gym to kind of, you know, train with us. So this right here is four plates. This is, this is the max. This is the most I had ever done at that time. Um, let's see how it looks. 405 pounds. I probably weighed 200 here. That's, that's easy. It's light. That's, that's impressive, honestly, because I, at that time I wasn't even training to be a power lifter. So I just kind of went in and slammed it. Now we're on to the deadlift portion. All right. We are on to the deadlift portion. This is uh, sumo right here. So yeah, we have sumo deadlifts right here. I actually don't think I did put the conventional in here. Um, but yeah, right here, this is my biggest deadlift of all time anyway, which you guys will see what that number is, you know, soon here. This is me working up to it. So this is 400 pounds, 405 right here that I just did. And I was like, this is shit. Free workout is hitting me hard as a fucking brick right now. So I don't really want to talk too much to the camera. Like I'm just in my headphones trying to get in the zone, but everything felt like my face right there just showed you guys how that 405 felt. So literally that 405 felt like one plate. The Texas deadlift bar, some straps and some pre-workout guys can do some wonders for you. I'm telling you, but yeah, we're gonna jump on five plates right now. Hopefully it continues to feel this light and I can kill the 680, maybe even hit 700. If you're interested in lifting the heaviest weight possible on the deadlift and getting as strong as humanly possible, then I would recommend you guys try to incorporate some sumo or switch to sumo because conventional, while you're probably gonna make more muscular gains, more hypertrophy gains, you're not going to be as strong. 99% of people are going to be strong on the sumo. Now, some people are not. Some people have better leverages for conventional. It's the same thing with high bar versus low bar squat. But I guarantee you, if you guys try this out for a few months, get the form down, make sure you guys have good limber hips, you will deadlift some heavy ass weight sumo. You'd surprise yourself. All right, this is one, two, three, four, five plates. All right, we're gonna pause it. Before I get any further, I'm gonna pause that. So that I said no lies right there. I said no lies right there. Conventional deadlifts for 99% of people, you're gonna lift less weight, but it is probably more beneficial in terms of like back development and bodybuilding. Specifically, it's more beneficial for, for like your erectors and your back development, I think. You know, your lower body, your glutes, your hammies, you, you know, sumo, conventional might be more similar, um, but yeah, I said no lies there. And then straps, obviously, are going to help you lift more weight. Texas deadlift bar, if you guys want to hit some crazy Instagram PRs to go post your Instagram, brag your friends, you are going to want a fucking Texas deadlift bar. Spend your entire paycheck, go buy one. It's going to fucking be worth it. Um, but anyways, now we're going to kind of get back into this and see what see what I did next. And yeah, and just kind of see, um, yeah, see how these next few lifts look working up to the max. This is, what is that? Six plates, 585. As a warm up, it's a warm up, take it easy. This is not a max yet. 585 was light as shit. And then here is 680 pounds, five pounds, may I add, above Dave laid uh, Dave's previous PR that he's ever uh, hit. His was 675, mine was 680. I just jumbled that up because I want to watch this and I'm not thinking. 680 fucking pounds. There you have it, folks. There you have it. So 680 pounds. So the best uh, deadlift I ever did was 680. Now, on like during this video, I think I was possibly on a SARM, some sort of SARM, maybe not. At that time, I had never done any real steroids. I, I had done some SARMs, but I was 190 pounds. I deadlifted 680. I was not on test, any injectables, any oral steroids, I'm, like I said, I might've been on like LGD or something like that, LGD uh, 40, 30, 30 SARM, may have been on nothing, not sure, but I, and at this in this video, I was for sure under 20 years old. So 
I think that's pretty fucking impressive, honestly. Even, you know, even like, you know, throw a little SARMs in there. At that weight, you know, I think it's impressive. So definitely impressed myself that I could do that. I could not lift that right now for sure. If if I, you know, went back into deadlifting programming, et cetera, I could absolutely do a lot more than this. Same thing with squat and bench, but I don't train that way anymore. Therefore, there's no way I could just walk into the gym and pick this up. And I'm on 500 tests and Anavar right now, and I weigh 215. In this video, I was 190 pounds. So what is that? Like 25, I was 25 pounds lighter. Um, and I, you know, and I was not on the same gear. And I, and, you know, I was stronger on the deadlift, which just goes to show you too, like in terms of actual, you know, strength for bench squat and deadlift, it's all about technique. It's all about practicing the movement, having your central nervous system used to doing that movement and being on a powerlifting program. Um, because I'm stronger throughout my full body right now, but I, like I said, cannot do that, cannot squat 585 anymore. And so powerlifting is just a different sport than bodybuilding. And if you really want to get strong on your main compounds, you have to methodically, you know, train for it, right? You have to be on the right program and, you know, yeah, you have to prime your body for it. It's going to take time to maximize your strength. So definitely was fun watching these lifts. I haven't seen these in like years. Um, let me know down below if you guys want to see me hit some fucking new PRs, some new maybe bench squat deadlift PRs. Not saying I'm going to do it. Not saying I'm going to commit to it, but I might, I might. But if you guys like these reaction videos, let me know down in the comments. If you guys want to see some other kind of form of content, right? Let me also know down in the comments and I will be continuing my weekly posting. So if you guys are not seeing what you want to see, like I said, comment, let me know what you do want to see. And I will see you guys in the next video next week. Peace.